this will back, but it's going to be okay. And you've got the IO there from MSS, plenty of regen available. But as long as Faith Bian securing his own creeps, he's, he's more than happy with this. He just wants his XP and his farm up. Do you think he picks up a Spirit Vessel here for the side of it? In fact, hold that Thorcus top lane. Why? In trouble is going to give first blood away. Leslau, very fire up. Stick charge up is going to walk from Arme. As Farda is also going to be able to get away. Arme not able to secure either kill here top lane. And meanwhile, bottom lane, this tiny dropping rather low, but Sinq going to be fine to walk out. First blood the way of Sonics. Yeah, Arme. Great start. Huh? Arme. Reflection does go down. Farda is going to be able to secure. Is that worth for Sonics though, John? It's a two for one, but you found the TB. I'd say it's all right. Perfectly safe. Level sixes are up on both sides, so it's, you can get aggressive here. I mean, Quinn seems like he wants to try and make a play. There is help in coming. MSS is going to show up. Let's go for the tether. There's nothing to say now. We'll be jump, but got the boat out in time. Still, Farda is also going to join in and nothing to say. We'll drop again as Farda immediately out with the tips. Onto nothing to say. Meanwhile, though, Leslau is going to drop top lane, so they do at least capitalize by finding the Dawnbreaker. Yeah, bait from LGD is Arme going to get jumped. They're fighting for it very patiently. Ready to protect Arme whenever Quinn Sunder is there. Leslau, he's the one to cop it, but he'll TP right out as Quinn. He just keeps moving in. Another actual step charge. Solar Guardian is there. So is the Shallow Grave, but Leslau, he's back in. Arme goes down. Now the Starbreaker into the boat, but Leslau dropping low himself as Faith Bian is going to join the team fight. A one for one so far in the favor of Sonics. So LDD continue to try and pursue Sonics. Radiant they are around, but not really in a position to try and defend until that ulti is gone. They are waiting patiently, but doesn't seem like they're going to be able to punish. In fact, now nothing Radiant to say. He did spot out Farda. That'll be another one to go down for Sonics. It's LGD. Going for more now. Down a bot lane, Arme. He got caught out with the Shallow Grave. It's going to make it in time. Just in the nick of time to allow the Sunder. The LGD. They'll keep going for more now. After you are with the relocate. Is there from MSS to save? Oh no, it's into the triangle. Oh. Nothing to say was waiting the whole time. He got MSS, but now he's the one in danger. You are. We'll turn right back around. Nothing to say. Trying to outsmart the side of Sonics, but you got an IO, you give your Kunker away. It's it's not a good trade. No, he had no backup. Fit beyond too low on man to play. They catch out in Q. Yeah, they do. The tiny. Gonna try to run. Silence from Faith Beyond gonna help out. No actual step charges available for Quinn at the moment, but they may not need it. Sink you. Still gonna drop here on the tiny as now. Why shows up? Trying to save the day with the sh shallow grave, but he might be another death to go the way of LGD. But no, their last game, it was fairly quick, and he had heard of points on top of the Vanguard before the Yags. So definitely not as, as speedy here for Sonics. Although, point oh. Fate. Remnants out. Faith Beyond might just fight back with the silences there. But Les Le is there with the Solar Guardian. In the meantime, mid lane, Farda does die in the Weaver, but it's a better pick off once again for Sonics. They'll be able to try and slip in. Not going too far as the X back into the torrent is out again. And Faith Beyond has the ulti up. You are. Has he gone too far? Relocate was there, but cancelled by the Yule Scepter as you are. Still trying to fight, but nothing to say. We'll just keep rushing forward onto the Bristol back. They have the X back, and they do commit it as you are. Will eventually go down to the tide, bring a hit as MSS. Still trying. In goes Quinn. Trying to salvage the situation, but there's no salvaging. Leslau, even coming in at the last moment. Can they get anything for their trouble? Torrent is down for the Dawnbreaker. Nothing to say. He'll be targeted by Quimper. The Shallow Grave is out. Leslau still going down. Full drop. Still trying for the Conquer. Avalanche is out. Quinn, can he get it done? Finally finds nothing to say, but what's it going to cost Sonics? Simulate out. Won't be enough. A huge win for LDD here in the mid lane. Sonics, they just kept trying to fight, kept throwing bodies at LGD, but... The Starbreaker, but beyond that, you are not holding any of these heroes down from LGD. They will start from the Roshan. Yuar does hit fairly hard, but LGD are aware this time. Up in, win. 
Much enough to say, the Kronka, BKB it up, but copying a fair bit of damage, but what a big toss up here from the Tiny. Fada, he drops, Quinn, he'll go down as well. Fades the Yarn, just chasing Yuar. Relocate, barely gonna save the life of the Bristle. Roshan is open now for LDD. They'll move their way in. Army will get right to work. They even found an IO with the relocate back. Roshan will be no contest for LGD now. They wipe out the side of Sonics. No. One here to make all these plays. Like Quinn has to land the most perfect remnants. All three has to be there. They're going to try. I'm going to try mid lane. Nothing to say. Again, being targeted on the Kunkka. Dropping very low, but the shallow grave. Why? Going to save the day once again as Faith Beyond. Going to pop the exorcism and nothing to say. He's out of there. Onto the Solar Guardian. Go at least find the Dazzle. Faith Beyond now. Between a rock and a hard place. Leslau. What a star breaker. Onto Turbot. Shinku with an avalanche out. It's not going to be enough, though. He will drop his arm, eh? He's a sitting duck. He has the Aegis up, but he's going to have to man fight this. They'll buy back on the Tiny. Jinkyu trying to move his way back in and save the day is Ame. He's going to be able to back off for now, but in they go again, Sonics. Not getting, not letting their foot off the pedal here is nothing to say. We'll go after the IO. MSS will drop. Leslau, he'll move in onto Ame. They've got the Terror Blade locked down again. Meanwhile, Sinkyu might die back here, but not quite. He'll walk away as Ame. Still just can't run. Has to fight back with Yawa. He goes too far. They at least find the Terror Blade as a trade. As Quinn, can he get nothing to say? It does seem like he may just, but the Tier 2 Tower is hitting away. They can't get this fight going. LDD somewhat managed to fight back, but it still seems like an overall... We've kind of missed their timing with this Bristleback draft. A big smoke up again here. LGD not done. The rush is four towards the top side of the map. They might run right into Quinn. They'll get the high ground advantage. Thank you. Gonna jump in. Avalanche toss is there. They've got the silence. They'll have Quinn down. MSS couldn't get the relocate in time. And now that'll mean the IO should drop as well. Just a little bit of a freebie, not the biggest deal in the world. <laughs> Still more kills to go the way of LGD. High five out from MSS. MSS just, you know, showing off the hand. Not gonna get it reciprocated. And then LGD off the back of that. There goes the mid T2. No protecting that. They are still going to try. Moving in onto Army. Focus down the Terror Blade, but he's willing to fight back. Scardi up onto the Bristle. He goes. MSS is trying to keep the Bristle back alive. In the meantime, though, Fada is going to drop the Weaver as they continue going. You are. We'll be able to run away. But now with the meta prop, LDD certainly going to go back into the mid C3 tower and probably the mid racks as oh, well. What? They do end up finding the Void Spirit. Quinn? You are. How do you salvage it now? Ame, after MSS, has got the IO down. Keep in mind, Quinn still has no buyback available in this Void Spirit. So it's a very, very rough defense to come here for, for Sonics. Onto the mid racks they go. LDD, suddenly two racks is up. Or maybe even Mega Creeps. They don't have that much time left in the meta, so it'll be a bit of a slower process, but. Just without Quinn, Sonic just doesn't have that jump up in Oh, they're onto the bristle back and they've got him. You are getting cold with his pants down. Leslau, even going for a run towards the north, is going to get caught eventually. No way out of this one. No buyback available on him either. Onyx, how do you defend now? At least they've got Quinn back, but it's still a 4v5 scenario. Without their Dawnbreaker, LGD. I'll be happy to move in. There goes Sinkyu onto the Void for a Quinn. Look how fast he goes down. He just barely get up and no, nothing to say. Cleans him up. That's the GG call being made. A draw will be forced here in LGD. They'll take game two in 29 minutes in a much more convincing fashion than say game number one. Yeah, they, they come out with stronger comfort here on LGD's. sales for good. Radiant
Shield's top tower is under attack. Radiance's top tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. 